Welcome back everyone to the sixth episode of this Ghost of Tsushima playthrough. We're gonna kick this off with Blood on the Grass and we're gonna go help one of our old friends Ryuzo. After that we're gonna dive a little bit more into finally eventually getting into I believe Taka's tool. So we'll be using that I believe in a main mission if I can remember correctly. Well, either way we'll get to that in this mission or in this playthrough episode. Uh, but first we get there it's probably only right we do this haiku real fast. Let's see, whirly strangle growth, bask in peace, we rest. Never ending flow. We gotta go with the first one here. So, I do believe when you're working on these, uh, for the most part, if you stick with the same option, aka the first, the second, or the third option, you will get a, a more clear and uh, good flow with the haiku. But you're really able to do this at your own discretion. Pick whichever one you want based on how you're feeling that day. I think. I'm going to stick with all the first options here though. Seems to kind of flow off the tongue a little bit better. Worries strangle growth. Unafraid, defenders stand. Grown from broken past. So we're going to go ahead and equip the headband of death. It's actually, in my opinion, one of the cooler headbands you get throughout the game. I like the different hats and helmets, but I personally like to roll around with a little bit less armor. Looks a little more sleek in my opinion. So cool little interaction that you can see here is the crabs are actively sinking themselves into the ground. Little small details, you know. Not much, but adds to the game. We're about 140 out, so we'll go ahead and just hop on Nobu real fast. Alright, now that I got myself unstuck here... So in short, last episode, we went back into Asimo Bay, freed up all the prisoners, started, with, started working with Taka and his associate or his assistant. Straw hat mercenaries were seen in the area. And it looks like we're up on our mission list. Could be the straw hats doing. Alright, right on our mission. I'm not really sure why I did that. I kind of just got distracted riding in the flowers and the grass there. Sorry. The attack started here, but there had to be more than one Mongol. Looks like more bodies up ahead. Looks like we're just gonna follow a trail of bodies here. Yep, definitely going the right way. It's another one. And another one. And we got a live one here. Away from his attackers. You know? Yeah. I'm just helping him out. Let's go this way. Tracks in both directions. This is great. Oh, there we go. I went the wrong way entirely. Uh, 
Jin? Jin Sakai. Yuzo. You look like a scarecrow. You've looked better, too. <laughs> Can I have my hat? You're a mercenary now. Professional warrior. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for your leader. He died on Komodo Beach. You were there too. I lost a lot of friends. We all did. And we can avenge them if we work together. Help me save Lord Shimura. He is alive. The straw hats are hurt. Starving. I can't ask them to risk their lives for one man. Even if you can name your price? Once we free our home, Lord Shimura will pay you anything you want. My men might be interested. Your men? I look out for them. Someone has to. Do we have a deal? I'll think about it. Just ready. Hold your ground. I always do. This is for Komoda Beach. Kill them all! I personally like to try and dispatch the archers as soon as possible, so speaking of. Oh, this guy. Yep, I continue my streak. I don't know why I struggle with that first swing so much with that guy. Okay. He's done. Get these archers. We get looks like we got a leader here. Yeah, I was real close to dying right there. Just that little faint sidestep there. I'm gonna blame not taking out the archers earlier here. For my woes. They got the shield brute, the leader in there. Hopefully, we won't have to work these archers anymore. So, we unlocked the wind stance. This one's going to be really important against the spears that you go against. This one has a pretty cool kick attack. Uh, yeah, the Typhoon kick. That's going to send people just flying. A little overpowered, but pretty cool way to take out the spearmen in this game. We're going to get rid of these annoying as archers. Guessing the other one's gone. Your form has improved. And you managed to grow a beard. Have you considered my offer? The straw hats can't save your uncle. We'll be lucky if we survive the week. It's that bad? We're starving. I was out here hunting for food. And I'm returning to my men empty handed. But not alone. Take me to your camp. We'll figure something out on the road. <laughs> Just like old times. Oh! 
Horse! Then it come on. When was the last time we saw each other? Two summers ago. Lord Nagao's tournament. I looked for you after the tournament ended. The straw hats saw our duel. They needed a new sword. That seemed like fun. Why didn't you tell me you were at Komoda? You were busy with the other samurai lords. I was sharing a drink with my men. I could have used the drink before that battle. Yeah, I'll bet. Another wagon. I'd have something we can salvage. Kid's about to take in the sights too. Empty. Samurai! Samurai! Was this your wagon? Yes, my lord. Mongols stole my horse, took my rice. You're lucky that's all you lost. Which way did the Mongols go? Toward Fort Ohira. Damn it. Take refuge at the Golden Temple. Warn others to stay off these roads. Yes, my lord. Let's keep moving. My camp's not far. Thank you for your good information. I meant what I said before. Help free Lord Shimura, and he'll grant you anything in his power. What's he got the power to give? Name your price. Free sake for life. Is that all? A place to drink. Big enough for all my men. Be serious, Ryuzo. I know you want to be more than a mercenary. It's been three years, Jin. Things change. It can't have been easy keeping the Straw Hats together after Komodo Beach. How did you do it? I convinced them nobody can save us but ourselves. That's true. I used to think so. But it's starting to feel like a lie. How many men do you have? We're down by half, but still enough to call ourselves a small army. Why? That peasant said the Mongols stole his rice and went to Fort Ohira. You think they're hoarding food there? Possibly. Do you have an idea? The beginning of one. Easy, Shinzo. It's me. He's here! Ryuzo's back! About time. I don't see any food. Men, this is my old friend, Lord Sakai. Ryuzo told me you're starving. I'm here to help. You didn't find food. We have a plan. Raid Fort Ohira and take back the food Mongols have stolen from our people. Raid a fort? They'll kill us! Give us a moment. Come with me, Jin. We should have talked about your idea before telling my men. I wanted to give them hope. That's my job. I meant no disrespect. It's fine. Through here, Jin. If you ride with the Straw Hats, you have to look the part. I've got a spare set of armor that should fit. You better not have lice. Never letting me forget that, are you? Spare armor's in the chest. <laughs> You're not as handsome as me, but it's not bad. We should check the fort's defenses. Look for weak spots. My men will handle that part. Then we have a deal? Get us that food at the fort Ohira. And we'll get your uncle away from the Mongols. Thank you, Yuzo. Just remember who's in charge of the straw hats. I would never dream of replacing you, my friend. Give us a head start. We'll meet you at the old cemetery. See you there. Another one bites the dust. Wrap that blood on the grass. The legend grows. We are now the unyielding wind. That's obviously gonna come with another resolve increase. As well as health. 
Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and lock the... I'm gonna go with Black Powder Bomb here, probably. Wind chime's still not a big fan. You know, it's Smoke Bomb, actually. It's... Incense mixed with Black Powder creates thick smoke. This one actually gives you a cool Cloud Assassination ability, so if you're getting overwhelmed by a large group of people, drop this. You can easily assassinate or run away. It's gonna deter them for just a slight amount of time. We'll keep the Ronin clothes on for now, too. Obviously, I'm a big traveler, attire kind of guy, but these look pretty sleek. Don't think that we're going to continue a mission I meant here. to ask you something earlier. I might have an answer. How did you survive the invasion? I almost didn't. A peasant pulled me from the battlefield. She nursed me back to health. <laughs> You always were lucky. How did you and your men escape? We ran. Do what you need to prepare. I'll see you at the old cemetery. I know it's historically, historically, wow, I can't say that word today, accurate, but calling you a peasant, man, just hits a whole different way. So it looks like well, we're gonna keep the team going here. I guess we'll meet Ryuzo at the next spot. It's about 440 meters out, too. Another crazy scene just left across the map. But with death comes beauty in the form of flowers. Good noble. Some pretty sweet trees, too. Work myself onto a cliff here. Looks like we gotta hit a couple switchbacks and get down. I mean, the straw hat and the Ronin attire is, it's definitely badass. Looks sleek with the black stallion Nobu with the little baby blue or navy blue accents. Okay, it looks like we're still on the side of a mountain. So we're gonna have to work all the way back here and then back down. But we're closing in just a little over 100 meters out. Even in the fog. Beautiful views as always. Uh, he might be on the side of this cliff. I'm just gonna hop off and climb up. should be in the cemetery. Good. You're here. Gotta snag that cricket real quick. Pretty sure cross. I missed that in the previous part. Is this everyone? Just the men who can fight worth a damn. The rest are too hungry or sick. Let's hope we're enough to raid the fort. There's a better chance of seeing cherry blossoms in winter than getting that food. There's always a way. Preferably one that doesn't kill half my men. My scout's back. Come on. A lot of men inside, and a signal at the top of the tower. If they call reinforcements from the bay, we'll be trapped. 
They'll cut us to pieces. Find a place to watch for me. Once they destroy their signal, attack. They'll kill you. If they do, avenge me. And take their food. That's not funny. Watch the tower for my signal. If you say so. Time for Jin to save the day yet again. Looks like we're just gonna use this log right in, we'll jump on the roof and then kinda go and scout from there. We got one, two perimeter archmen archers. I'm just gonna take them out real quick. I don't think anyone's got a line of sight on either of them. Alright, we're done with those guys. Got two on the fire. There might be someone in here, but they're not in the window. I think we'll be able to just work our way up here now and potentially run the back. I don't have to worry about anyone else right now. Yep. Most likely gonna be at least one guy in here. <laughs> move up a little bit slower. Yep, there we go. Take them supplies. I might do gear updates as we play through this playthrough, but honestly, I, I would like to keep it at a minimum. Don't want to make myself an OP character who just slashes through everybody without any skill or to signal the others. See test at all, I guess. It's time. Speaking of upgrades, and this guy just hide. What you get, man? Smoke bomb, as you can see, assassinate. It does stagger some guys too, and they get a little slowed down. I'm not sure if you can upgrade that to the point where you can carry on a chain assassination and get more than one guy at a time, but we can look into that as we progress through the game. Did you find? Let's get your men something to eat. Where's all the food? I didn't see any in the tower. Did you find anything? Just a stack of Mongol papers on a dead officer. Let me see. Do you read Mongolian? If it's in Chinese, I can make out some of it. Since when? Since I had to read Sun Tzu. This was only a temporary depot. They're taking everything. Offshore. The boats are in the bay. We'll never get out to them. You got in here. You're crazy. What did you have in mind? Let's see what we're up against. 
Yeah, you guys go right on ahead. I'm gonna pick up some stuff here real quick. So what's everyone's favorite tool so far? Are we looking at the smoke bomb, the kunai? Are we looking at the sticky bomb? Did any of you go with the wind chime first? That's obviously gonna be the last one I unlock. The Mongols have small boats on the beach. We could steal one, but we'd have to cut through their army. Too many barriers and archers. A frontal attack would be suicide. I want my men far away from the enemy's line. The flaming arrow might set off those explosives. That will get their attention. But we need them to look away from the beach. Put your archers on that cliff. The Mongols will focus on them while we steal the boat. All right, men. They don't know we took the fort, so they'll be waiting for reinforcements that aren't coming. Keep them busy long enough for us to steal a boat. Then retreat into the forest. Look for my torch. That's your signal to attack. Let's find a way down to the beach. You heard Yuzo. Let's move. We won't let you down. Watching you fight back there reminded me of Lord Nagao's tournaments. You did whatever it took to win. It was a competition. You fought just as hard. Did I? What are you getting at? Nothing. Just remembering our duel. We'll talk about this. Your men should be in position. Light the torch. Now. I knew they'd come through. Look at that fire. Sounds a little sour losing that fight. What is the plan? There's no time to fight. We need to get to that boat. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't help my bloodshed. No, I messed up. Alright, let's fight our way out. Where are you going? Come here. Ooh, where's those folks? Alright. Let's get out of here. We need to move quickly. Take an oar. Assuming we're going to a boat. Yeah. Trying to sink us. Your men distracted the ship's crew too. Look around. Nothing. I never knew our duel bothered you so much. Now you do. No luck. You should have told me earlier. Life took us in different directions. It was a long time ago. So then why are you bringing it up, homie? No food here. Any sign of food? Not here. Hear that? Sounds like four or five guys. No way around. Surprise them. Greetings. Surprise! Nice ship. We have to move fast. Oh, 
Ooh. It's another. Man. I did it again. I'm gonna get hit. Oh. Took too long. How am I not hitting these guys in the head? Guess we do it the hard way then. More Mongols. Let's run it. Oh, of course, I hit the leader. It's gonna be a while. In an earlier video, I called it the Earth Stance. It's gonna be the Moon Stance, so I thought it right. If the food isn't here, it has to be on the other ship. You search here. I'll take the other. Be careful. I still think it would have been really cool to have English subtitles for the Mongols. Okay, we can drop down, but... I think... Oh, better not. I couldn't tell if he had a helmet on or not there for a sec. Let's just go ahead and drop down and see what we got. Ooh, hello. What's happening? Yeah, I was just gonna keep guard breaking until he gave up there. Hey, what's up, man? Oh. That's a bear. That was, that was pretty close. You know what? I'm gonna shoot this cage open. There we go. Ha-ha! Oh! Yeah, have fun with that. He just got wrecked! Oh, he looks like he's trying to flex on me too. I better get out of here. Yeah, don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just doing my thing. Mm. Oh shit! Oh, come on! The bear strikes again. I was near full health and he just one hit me. I mean, it is a bear. I can't argue that, I guess. It looks like the enemies are still kind of cleared out, and the bear is back in his cage. And you know what? That's where you're gonna stay this time, buddy. What's in here? All right, sending a large amount of men to do the toma. No sign of any food. Has to be something. And there's no food, so this isn't gonna go well, probably. What's up, Sasha? Oh, 
I'm gonna go with the crawling Mongol. It's probably crawling away from him. Got an arrow in his back too. I faced worse. I did it again, and now my dumbass got himself stuck in a small space. He be little, but he be fierce. I would have had that Mongo if you hadn't shown up. I know. Did you see how big he was? That's where all our food went. <laughs> Bastards! They're burning our food! Rizzo, we have to go. Can we swim? I have to. Fire spreading! Oh, so I could at least get one of them. Oh, this is back fine quick. Let's get out of sight. They're still hunting us. There's a good hiding spot ahead. I promised my men I'd feed them, and I'm going back empty-handed. We'll find another way. But how many will I lose before then? I found something that might help. Mongol battle plans. Do they show supply lines? One page has a map. It's a start. Hand it over. We do this together. You've got your own problems, and I am the leader. I need this, Jin. And I'll need you at Castle Canada. You'll have me. Don't let them see you coming. Just like you. <laughs> now with the straw hats, we should have everyone recruited, I believe. And another upgrade point. Like I said, I think I'm gonna hold off on upgrading for a little bit. We'll kind of just let the game play out on its own. Wow, this takes a really long time. I need Traumatic to find Yuna. Okay, good. I was kind of afraid that we weren't actually going to get to this in this episode here. But we're going to go find Yuna at the Kamatsu Forge. And then we're going to get a grappling hook. And then like that said, that's going to give us everything we need with all the support with uh, Straw Hats, Adachi, and Sensei Shikawa, and Yuna and her brother. And I lied about no upgrades, because I definitely want the Strength and Typhoon kick. After that, though, we're going to hold off. Unless you guys want me to work through the skill trees, we can do that, too. Again, I'm playing this for the audience. I'm here for the ride and the visuals. I should see if Yuna has any news. Where's the... Oh, that's why. So the armor is Taka. But I was going to show you guys some of the upgrades available so far. Spreading more of your stories? Just telling them what they want to hear. Some of them are calling you the ghost. After you put the idea in their heads. These people stay because they believe in you. They should believe in the samurai. To them, you're both. When Lord Shimura is free, they won't need to put their faith in folk tales. Maybe. Taka's sweating over the job you gave him. He doesn't want to let you down. Let's see how it's coming along.
You were looking for warriors to help save your uncle. Any luck? Some. Sensei Ishikawa and Lady Masako Adachi are still alive. They're dealing with their own struggles, but when it's time, they've agreed to help. And the archer, and the noblewoman. You sure that's enough? That's why I hired the store hat Ronin. Turns out their new leader is an old friend of mine. Well, sounds like you have all the help you need. Will you join us? I don't know. Can someone help with this? I'll get it. Go see Tata. We'll catch up later. I know. I just think. Thank you for your patience, my lord. An iron hook with a rope attached to the end. You can use it to climb walls. Swing over things. It'll hold my weight? I tested it myself. I call it a Kaginawa. It's perfect. I'm in your debt. No. It's a gift. I have my sister, my home, my life. That's enough. Thank you, Taka. Jin! Where are you? You so? Jin! Jin Sakai! Anyone see a samurai? I know you're here! I've been looking all over for you. The Mongols have captured my best fighters. I was counting on their help to free Lord Shimura. Jin, if we don't do something, my men are dead, and your uncle stays locked in captivity. Where are they? Caged near Fort Yatade. All right, Ryuzo. Let's see what we can do. You said they're in cages near Fort Yatate. Where exactly? The cages are actually inside the fort. At the top of a cliff. How are we going to free your people from there? I still have a few men who weren't captured. They're waiting for us at a crossroads nearby. We'll need the extra swords. Lead the way. Completely. How were you captured? Remember that map you gave me? Oh, the one showing Mongol supply lines. Did you find food? Yes. Very well guarded food. Too many guards for your best men? The ugly bastards were all over us. I barely got away myself. And you're sure the men are alive? I heard them singing last night. Hmm. I'm surprised the Mongols allowed that. So am I. Are you good singers? Might be more pleasant than mercenary work. <laughs> I didn't choose this life. It was my only option after our duel. Oh. At Lord Nagal's tournament. We never talked about it. Before we spawn, I invited commanders from every clan to watch. You came at me like I was your mortal enemy. Almost broke my arm. I'm sorry. It was my first tournament. I got swept up in the excitement. Of course you did. Every samurai on the island wanted to meet the Jito's nephew. I never thought of it like that. You were born Lord Sakai. That tournament was my one chance to gain attention. To enter the service of a lord, become a samurai. You should have come to me. I would have hired you. Because no one else would? No. I needed to prove myself. I wish you told me this earlier. Maybe I should have. So you keep saying this in the past, but you keep bringing it up, bud. Like I was saying before. Kumatsu called you the ghost. Was Lord Sakai not good enough? What's wrong? Afraid I'll get more famous than you? <laughs> I completely blanked on this mission being a part of the storyline. So we might not get to use the Kaginawa or the Iron Hook this episode, but we will be the next. You get to see how it's using travel exploration, setting yourself up for assassination, movement, the whole nine. Where's Hiro and Shinzo? They left. And they're not coming back. Cowards! 
running off. After all I did to keep them alive. We still have enough to save your men. I've worked with less. I've lost men to Mongols, sickness, hunger. But never this. They're weak. It's not your fault. Anyone else want to leave? Easy now. It's a good thing my mic was muted because that was It'll way be funnier awesome. than it should have been. Of course, one of the inside scoop. On the way. Hey, draw hats. Ride. Yeah, you're gonna need to get out of my way. Got it right at the front. That's where the bastards are holding my men. What's your rescue plan? My plan? You're the one who got us onto that Mongol ship. Hmm. Yeah. There's only one road into the fort, and it'll be heavily guarded. I need to get inside without being seen. The Mongols won't be watching the cliffs at the back of the fort. I'll climb up, go over the wall. How? Are you half monkey? <laughs> I have something to help me. I'll free your men. Once they're with me, I'll set off one of the alarms. That's your signal to ride in. And crush the Mongols between us. See? I knew you'd have a plan. I'll find a way up the cliff on this side. Stay hidden until you see my signal. Good luck. Don't fall. So for those of you who want the completionist, we just passed that fox then. It's right here in this general vicinity, just south of the marker we're at. And I was completely wrong. We are going to get to use the iron hook. I guess that makes sense because we just got it. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. You guys will be able to see the different ways we use this to traverse our way around different shrines in the map itself. Can't jump that gap, but Taka says his hook will support my hook. It worked. I feel like I'm Tarzan or something when I'm swinging around here. A little Spider-Man action, actually. So when you're using the hook, realistically, if it's within reach, you can just jump up to it and throw out the hook, which I'm sure it'll give us an option to do that here soon. Should be able to swing but you're also going to notice them around different Mongol territories and bases. There's going to be these little red and white tapestries that are hanging around like uh, the top seam of the houses and the the dojos or whatever they're called I'm sorry to be historically inaccurate there but it's gonna give you the ability to hop up on top of buildings set up assassinations and so forth Here's this example I was talking about, like you see, you just gotta jump up, and if it's in within reach, you're able to just hit the right trigger. I'm gonna do it again here, same kind of deal it looks like once we jump up. Jump up, and trigger, and there you go. <sighs> Need to find Ryuzo's men. They really are seen. Sounds like they're caged all over the fort. another one of them damn bears, wasn't it? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and... Yeah, I figured with the helmet there. We're gonna take these guys out real fast. There's no stealth objective for this mission. For the sake of time, we'll just go ahead and cruise through these guys. Help free out the user straw hit man. And set us up for the next episode. Oh! I think we got any captives up here. 
I don't know why it won't let me turn around though. I guess maybe that is them. Yeah, okay. Got this bear alert. Almost didn't say you guys. Yeah, I see you. Get away from me, bear. Uh, we could stand off, but we'll see what we can do here first. You didn't see anything. We got a brute. Oh, dude here. Oh, oh, nice. Didn't even really think that they'd help me, but that's tough. Oh, yeah, not. I gotta fix uh, my ability with those guys. I'd say two out of three, or three out of four times, I'm getting hit by that first swing. Every time. Alright, we just gotta defeat some Mongols and we're done here. Got us another leader, it looks like. Maybe not. Grab that artifact real quick, excuse me, sir. Just got the boot. Now you know why I like the dark okay? this pot. Doesn't look like there's anything good here. You're rolling seven deep. Alright, so we clearly haven't finished all the Mongols. I'm gonna guess they're on the other side of this hill where we first came in. So he has zero awareness. Hiding in the grass or not no more. Okay. I was a little, a little afraid that might have been too high there. For you. Time to open the gate. Oh, it looks like these dudes are about to get sandwiched. This is it! Fight for your freedom! Yeah. <laughs> 
has to be the funniest move in this game. Finish him. I knew you wouldn't forget us. So close to the bounty, Jito's nephews. We placed bets. How long did it take you to free us? Yeah. I lost. Hope you brought some sake. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. It doesn't make any sense. What doesn't? My men said the Mongols didn't hurt them. They fed them. Good food, too. No wonder they were singing last night. Just be grateful they're safe. Why in all the hells would the Mongols feed them? Maybe they expected something in return. Thank you, Jin. My men. They're everything. All right, men. On your horses. I need to meet Yuna in Komatsu. Oh, no. Seems a little sketchy to me, guys. That's going to wrap up this episode, though. If you guys enjoyed this, please don't forget to leave a like. We'll begin the next episode out here in the next 24 hours or so, so keep on the lookout for that. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.